Hello friends, this video on light, shadows and reflection part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now, we have been talking about images, we have been talking about reflection. But have you ever noticed that with a lot of objects, images are not formed, rather shadows are formed. So whenever these objects are placed in presence of light, you see a black shadow being formed of that object. So what is this shadow and how are the shadows formed? So let's see what is shadow. Well, shadow is nothing but a space where light is blocked by an opaque object. So whenever you have an object which doesn't allow light to pass through it, so what will happen? Some space will get blocked by that object. So let's look at this banner. So this pillar is blocking light. So light is able to pass through all these areas but only this portion is blocking light and that is why light is not able to reach only this part. So this part remains dark and that dark part is seen as a shadow. So shadow is not an object, shadow is not an image. It is just that part where light could not reach. Light could not reach because it was blocked by an opaque object. Now shadows are also formed by translucent objects because translucent objects also partially allows light to pass through them. So some part of the light is also blocked by translucent objects but the images formed by opaque objects are more clear and more distinct. So when we you stand in the sun you are able to see your shadow. So how do you see that shadow because our body is opaque we do not allow light to pass through us. That's why we are not transparent and that is why a shadow is formed behind us. And if you look at the shape of this shadow, it is quite similar to our shape because the shape of our body is not allowing light to pass. So only for that shape, there is darkness behind and that's how shadow is formed. So this shows that transparent objects can never form shadows because they allow light to pass through them. So there will be no dark area behind them. Now the question is how exactly is a shadow formed? Now for shadow to form two things are absolutely important. Light has to be present in dark shadows are not formed. An opaque or translucent object has to be present because if there is no object to block light again shadows will not be formed. So let us look at this example. So here light falls on this object from the front that is light falls on this person from front. Okay, so only the shape of this person doesn't allow light to pass through it. That is why you see that same portion as dark because light couldn't reach here and that is why shadow is formed. Now let us say if we take a torch and provide light from this direction over the shadow, what will happen? Will you still see the shadow? You will not be able to see shadow because now light is able to reach this portion as well. So therefore shadows will only be formed in that area where there is no light, where light could not reach due to the presence of an opaque object. So if you have light coming from this direction as well as this direction, no shadow will be formed. So even though an opaque object is present in presence of light, shadows will not be formed because there is no such area where light is completely blocked by an opaque object. So maybe this area light is blocked by this object but from this side light is able to reach here. So shadows will not be formed. So shadows are basically the dark areas where light doesn't reach. Now if instead of this person, if you replace this person with a glass slab no shadow will be formed because through glass slab light will be able to pass through it. So there will be no dark region behind. Now when you look at the shapes of shadows you will observe a lot of interesting stuffs. So let's say uh, if you think of a ball, a, what is the shape of a ball? It's a sphere. But when you look at the shadow that is being formed by the ball, like, like what you are seeing right now on the screen, do you see a sphere? The, when, when I talk about the shape of the shadow, it's not a sphere, it looks like an ellipse. So it is not necessary that the shape of the shadow will be identical to the shape of the object. Look at this box. So the shape of the box is like a kind of a cuboid. But when you look at the shadow, shadow is just a rectangle. That's because 
when light is being provided light is coming from this direction so only this part of the box is not allowing light to pass through it so that is why only this portion is dark because light is not able to reach here and that's why the shape of the shadow is a rectangle similarly if light was falling from this face of the box the shadow would have formed on the other side so basically it is the sh what will be the shape of the shadow that is determined by the direction in which light is falling on that object it is also determined by the shape of the object and it is also determined which face from which uh, angle are you looking at the shadow so there are various factors on which the shape of the shadow is dependent you look at this car so the shadow which you sh see here is just kind of a rectangle however the shape of the car is very much different that's because maybe light is falling from the top of the car that is why this bottom part is that area where light is being blocked by this entire base of the car so that is why the image is like that look at this grasshopper so when you look at its uh, shadow you see uh, it, it is very much different from the real picture of the grasshopper so shadow will only be that area where light is not able to reach think of this flower vase you can get many different shapes of shadows of the same flower vase just by changing the direction of light falling on the vase so right now the light is falling in from this direction so that is why you should see a shadow here if light falls on this direction then the shadow will be formed here if light falls on this from front the shadow will be formed at the back so basically depending on the direction from which light is incident on that object also it determines where the shadow will be formed and what will be the shape of the shadows so when we talk about shape of shadows we see a lot of interesting shadows which are being formed with our hands in fact a lot of people know this beautiful art of making animals with their hands making different po postures with their hands and when you look at their shadows they look they look like some animals you look at this just with his two hands he is able to make a shadow which resembles a rabbit look at this with two hands he is able to make something which looks like a flying bird so that's how you know a lot of animals are being shown with uh, shadow so this is another interesting stuff so basically uh, any object the shape of the object doesn't necessarily tell us what will be the shape of this shadow so with one particular object you can have multiple shapes of shadows for example if you talk about a cylinder if if the light falls on one surface you might get a rectangle as shadow if light falls on some other uh, side you might get a circle as a shadow so it depends the on the orientation of the incident light also Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.